Pass it to me. Over here. Over here. Touchdown! What was that? That sounded like a phoenix. Maybe it wanted to join the fun. Birds can't play football. Of course they can. Have you ever heard of the Trilympic Games? No, I haven't. The land we are camping on used to be called Fire Sands, a civilization of creatures living in the African savanna. And every year, a local TV studio would host the Trilympic Games. A competition involving tests of strength, speed, and agility. The most exciting year was the year the Phoenix and the Minotaur competed against each other. I want to hear the story. Come on, let's sit around the fire. This is a story about Brontes the Phoenix. That's me, uh, from Tenefit. I'm a sonic bird with birds of Tenefit. And Rocky the Minotaur. That's me, a scrum prey. There's a prey of creatures. The moment Rocky saw Brontes, he had to ask him out. You have a beautiful wing. Thank you. Nothing new, really muscle. You wanna go get some ice cream? Uh, Brontes got strawberry, and Rocky got Rocky Road. Things seemed to be going great. <laughs> I think I've seen you, Mom, before. What are you doing? Why are you seeing today? Well, I did sing way different for great games. Okay, coming up. I want to win the prize for the Tatonia. I uh, heard you get a go, right? And for a slide, some Yeah, right. You just saw to be in the Olympic game. Oh, yeah? I'll be training. <laughs> In my business. I got straight. I got game. So me, but you got. Um. The two left the ice cream parlor and started training harder than ever. At first, they started lifting weights. Then, they weight lifted with buildings. They pushed their bodies to the limit and snap! Bronte's broke his wing. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I'll find I can fix it. Phoenixes have healing powers, so he thought he could drop a few tears on his wing and fix it. But Brontes was a young phoenix and hadn't quite figured out his powers yet. It wasn't working. Brontes started to get frustrated. Do you need any help? No, not from you. Brontes hailed a flying taxi up to his town, Dragonsville, a magical city and home to his poppy. Happy hell, my wing is broken. Let me see. It's unlikely. Anything I've seen before. You're a doctor. Do you know? Well, what do I do? You need to find Xena, the Phoenix Queen. She has the power to heal you, but you need some help to find them. Brontes and Poppy stood on the balcony of their home and whistled a tune, calling on friends to help them. joined in the song. Brontes couldn't fly, so he waited and watched his friends and his poppy fly all over, calling for Zenith. Found him. He's healing a lion. Why are saints? Hey, come with me. I'm too tired to fly in London. And you are high enough to go on your own. Take a flying taxi to the lion's lair. That's where you'll find Zenith. 
Orontes thanked his friends and took a taxi to the lion's lair. When he arrived, Orontes was nervous. He heard that the lion's lair was a dangerous place, especially if you are a stranger to the lions who live there. Orontes was also terrified of shadows, and this cave was deep, dark, and full of shadows. Orontes shook with fear. He almost considered turning back, but he decided to be brave and took a step forward. When outcharged, a boring lion. What do I see here? Are they finished? With a broken wing? Get out of my cave! If not, I can take you down. In no time. Oh, uh, fuck you. You don't know who you're messing with. I'm out of Which you win off of a Twilight Olympic Games. I'm strong and I'm fast plus. I have a team of lions that will come back me up. So big it on, buddy. Launchy. Allo, stand back. But this is a trudeau. The lions don't allow in trudeaus. This is Blanchy, my friend. It's okay. Oh, well, what is he doing here? It's dangerous. I need a Zenith. My name is Queen. Layer of Layer. Roulette, hello? I'm a friend with the lion. Fine. Who's inside? Another way. You need a flashlight. Come on. In the lair, they saw her, Zenith, a beautiful green phoenix. Brontes watched in awe as the Phoenix Queen healed a lion's paw. Then she turned to the younger Phoenix. Here come. Here come. Yes. I got my love you. I couldn't do it. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Step one. And that's it. Mommy. Step one. Here it is. Here I'm thinking about my friends. That's good. No kind of change. Like that. Love. I do. You make you feel. What would it want for you? You make me feel incredible. I know. Be happy. I know. Be yeah, proud. Be yourself. The way it's see you. Wow! This is my new ring! This must be it. Did you get it? The very next day, the Tri-Olympics began. First up, the test of speed. With his fixed wing, Brontes flew past the competition. Rocky crushed the test of strength. Finally, for the freestyle event, Brontes did an amazing gymnastics routine. Rocky surprised the crowd with a powerful ice skating routine. And he won the competition! The band sounds their horns in celebration. Bronte sat sadly. His poppy came over and gave him a big hug. You're amazing, Bronte. You know, it's you, I think. What? I'm so proud of you. Don't worry. You know, it's next to you. Bronte, you get to bring summer with me to California. How are you like to join me? Really? Really? Maybe we can give an ice cream date and not a tie. You're a scrummy, right? 
Yes. Two of them meet their favorite celebrities, Taylor Swift and Bruce Springsteen, and they have an amazing time in California. Plus, they get another chance at love. Aww. There's that sound again. I told you, the phoenix wants to play. Come on, bird. Show us what you got. <laughs> <laughs>